Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Huff Post under the main headline of, I was the lucky one, Nazanin calls for release of others unjustly detained in Iran. Summary of headline article. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe speaks during a press conference hosted by her local MP Tulip Siddiq. In Parliament. During the press conference. Zaghari Ratcliffe also criticized the government for the length of time it took to secure her release. Advertisement. How many foreign secretaries does it take for someone to come home? That never happened. She said this resulted in her finding it difficult to place trust in them. Adding. How many foreign secretaries does it take for someone to come home? What's happened now should have happened six years ago. Roxanne Tarbaz. The daughter of Morad. Also took part in the press conference. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. We will never bow to Russian ultimatums. Zelensky says. Eight die in Kyiv shopping center strike. Live. Summary of headline article. 1509 A new TikTok account can be shown falsehoods about the Ukraine war within minutes of signing up to the app. According to an investigation by anti-misinformation outlet NewsGuard, Alex Hearn reports. The company, which monitors the trustworthiness of news outlets across the web, ran a pair of tests to assess how the video sharing app treated information about the conflict. It found that a new account that did nothing but scroll the apps algorithmically curated for you. Page watching videos about the war would be funneled towards false or misleading content within 40 minutes. Videos also claimed that fake footage was real. And that real footage was fake. Videos purportedly of the ghost of Kyiv shooting down Russian jets were taken from a video game while real videos from the war were decried as fake by pro-Russian accounts. Some of the myths in the videos TikTok's algorithm fed to analysts have previously been identified as Kremlin propaganda, the researchers said, by the organization's Russia-Ukraine disinformation tracking center. From Reuters under the main headline of Chinese Boeing jet crashes in mountains with 132 on board. No sign of survivors. Summary of headline article. The logo of China Eastern Airlines is pictured at Beijing Capital International Airport in Beijing. China March 21, 2022. Reuters. Tingshu Wang Beijing. March 21. Reuters. A China Eastern Airlines. 600115. SS. Boeing 737 to 800 with 132 people on board crashed in mountains in southern China on a domestic flight. On Monday after a sudden descent from cruising altitude. Online weather data showed partly cloudy conditions with good visibility in Wuzhou at the time of the crash. Shares in China Eastern Airlines in Hong Kong closed down 6.5% after news of the crash emerged. While its U.S. listed shares slumped 17% in pre-market trading. Investigators will search for the plane's black boxes, the flight data recorder and cockpit. Voice recorder. To shed light on the crash. From BBC under the main headline of police send over 100 questionnaires on number 10 parties. Summary of headline article. The government has faced intense pressure over gatherings held in and around Downing Street during COVID lockdowns. Sources told the BBC that Downing Street staff members attended a gathering with Carrie Johnson in the flat where she and the Prime Minister live. There was a separate gathering in No. 10 Downing Street on the same day to mark the departure of a special advisor. Downing Street originally denied a report by the Daily Mirror that a party took place in Downing 
Street. A gathering was held in No. 10 Downing Street to mark the departure of two private secretaries. From Reuters under the main headline of Russia tells U.S. envoy ties close to rupture after Biden's comments. Summary of headline article. U.S. Ambassador to Russia John Sullivan speaks with journalists in Moscow. Russia January 30, 2020. Ambassador John Sullivan to tell him that President Joe Biden's calling Russian President Vladimir Putin a war criminal, had pushed bilateral ties to the brink of collapse. President Biden said last week that Putin was a war criminal, for sending tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine. Read more The ministry also told Sullivan that hostile actions against Russia would receive a decisive and firm response. But Deputy U.S. Secretary of State Wendy Sherman, in an interview on MSNBC, said Russia's reported statement, just shows how desperate President Putin is becoming. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Sir David Ames murder trial. Terrorist, plotted to assassinate Gove while jogging. Court told. Summary of headline article. The suspected terrorist who is standing trial accused of stabbing veteran conservative MP Sir David. Ames had an eight-point plan saved in his phone detailing how to kill Michael Gove. A court has heard. He had also carried out reconnaissance trips to the constituency surgery of Mike Freer MP. But settled on Sir David Ames as a target after a quick Twitter search brought up his constituency. Surgery details. The jury also heard Ali had bought the knife used to stab Sir David five years earlier in preparation for a different attack. Mr. Little QC told the Old Bailey. He considered he had an obligation to perform jihad in the United Kingdom. This includes the fact that no mental health defense will be put forward in relation to Ali Harby. Ali. The Crown told the Old Bailey. From the Sun under the main headline of Missing Man Found Dead in Pub Freezer. Summary of headline article. A missing man was found dead in an abandoned pub's freezer. 10 years after vanishing. Roy Big, 67, went missing in 2012 and his body was later discovered in a derelict pub in Forest Gate, East London. Last year, police are now appealing for anyone who knew Mr. Big before he vanished to get in touch with them. If you knew Roy please do get in touch with us. His birth date was 8 September 1944. We believe he would have been aged around 70 when he died. Anyone who knew Roy Big should call the incident room on 020-8345-1570. Call 101 or tweet at MetCC quoting 4,332 Canadian dollars per 15 October 21. From BBC under the main headline of New P&O Crew on less than £2 an hour. Union claims summary of headline article. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps told Parliament. Maritime employees have not. In this country. Indeed throughout much of the world. Received some of the same benefits and protections that exist otherwise for workers and this simply. Not good enough and it's a practice we have been seeking to end. From Huff Post under the main headline of why free-range eggs are coming off supermarket shelves. Summary of headline article. Advertisement now. Eggs sold in shops will have a sticker or label stating that they are barn eggs. Which is the name given to eggs produced by hens permanently housed indoors. Barn eggs will be sold in some stores for the first time in years including stores like Sainsbury's and Morrison's, which have policies to sell free-range eggs only. In other words, barn eggs do not come from battery hens, the term used when hens are kept in cages. According to figures from data firm Cantor, 
Free-range eggs make up for around 70% of all eggs sold in shops. The Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs added that now the grace period for free-range eggs is over. These eggs must now be marketed as barn eggs. From Metro under the main headline of Apple hit by major outage. Summary of headline article. Apple users have been hit by a major outage this afternoon. Picture. Getty. Apple appears to have been hit by a huge outage this afternoon as thousands complained they were unable to access various products. The App Store, iCloud and Apple Maps are said to have been hit. According to Down Detector, which monitors real-time problems and outages. Popular Apple services including Find My Phone, iTunes, Apple Music and iMessage have been also affected. Many Apple users expressed their frustration on Twitter after noticing their favorite apps stopped working from around 4.30 p.m. UK time. Apple's status page. Pick.twitter.com slash Joseph 6 gprax Matt Rogowski. At Matt Rogowski. March 21, 2022 Lack of access to maps has prompted Twitter users to joke about their reliance on the app. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.